Yes, you're welcome to Ella Feature TV. Welcome to Hello Kitchen TV. So guys, today we are going to be making special onubo soup using all the available proteins at home. First of all, in a clean pot, we are going to be going in with our washed beef, assorted meat, cow skin, and some seasoning cube, and we will go ahead and blend our habanero pepper. The blended habanero pepper guys you can add in as much as you can handle okay we are going to be slicing little onion and add to our meat i was made to understand by my mother-in-law that unubosu don't need much onion Also going to be adding our leftover smoked chicken and add little water cover and allow to steam. Guys, remember you can cook this soup with any protein of your choice. While that is cooking, we are going to be cooking our cocoa yam over here, and this type of cocoa yam cook really fast. At this point, we are going to be checking on our proteins, stir to make sure that none is stick to the pot and then we will go in with our cooked stocked fish, smoked mackerel and smoked catfish and then we will add in our blended mangala. Mangala fish comes with a lot of bones so I decided to blend it before adding it to be on the safer side when my kids are eating the soup. Adding water. Blend crayfish and add. Adding ogilisi, that is fermented locust beans. I'll be adding my oil at this point because I want my oil to be cooked very well. Next, we are going to be checking on our boiling cocoa yam. When it's tender and soft like so, then it's fully cooked. I will be peeling off the skin, but before I start peeling, I'm going to be running cold water on it. After then, I will proceed to the blender and blend into smooth paste. Thank you all so much for watching to this very point. God bless you. And please don't forget, if you have not followed our page, do us a favor and click on the follow up button, okay, so that you can watch us grow. Thank you. I'll be adding the blended edic, which is called cocoa yam, making sure that the soup is not over thick and at the same time not too watery. At this point, we'll be going in with our washed bitter leaf and we allow the soup to cook on a low heat for some minutes.
at this point guys the aroma has taken everywhere and everyone is waiting patiently to have their own potion i just want to appreciate you guys for always coming through for us each time we upload our videos god bless you all i will see you guys in our next one